From sausage fingers to cancer, King Charles's health history. Until his cancer diagnosis, the 75-year-old monarch had generally enjoyed good health, although there have been a few sporting injuries. Prior to his recent health issues, King Charles had reached the age of 75 without succumbing to any serious illness. His active lifestyle has no doubt helped protect him from ill health over the years. But it has also landed him in trouble at times and if he has been fortunate to mostly swerve life-threatening maladies until now, he has not been quite so adept at avoiding injury. His fondness for playing polo has been partly to blame for the array of knocks he has had but he's managed to hurt himself through an impressive range of other activities too, both on and off a horse, and even while seeing a branch off a tree on one occasion. Like most older adults he has in recent years had to confront the reality of an aging ailing body, but has done so with humor. I don't know about you, but now bits of me keep falling off at regular intervals, he joked to a crowd in Brisbane, Australia in 2018. So prior to his cancer what other health issues have affected the king during his life so far the king has long joked about his puffy fingers. During rehearsals for his coronation last year as Prince William struggled to fasten a ceremonial robe, his father told him not to worry as he doesn't have sausage fingers like his father. Although when William was born in 1982, the king wrote to a friend that, he really does look surprisingly appetizing and has sausage fingers just like mine. Various explanations for the monarch's sausage fingers have been suggested over the years edema arthritis infections allergies, high salt levels and more and the topic has received much coverage. In 2008, the king had a non-cancerous growth removed from the bridge of his nose. The operation was described as minor and routine and was performed without the need for a local anesthetic. The king was pictured at Highgrove wearing a small white plaster following the procedure. His father, the Duke of Edinburgh, underwent similar treatment to remove a small growth on his nose in 1996.